Hej, gramy dalej w Anna's Quest. Czas wreszcie zakończyć ten długi trzeci rozdział. Dziadek czeka na lek. Brakuje nam jeszcze jednego składnika, mianowicie róży. I aby ją uzyskać, w pierwszej kolejności udajmy się do kościoła. Welcome, young traveler. The stars be upon you. Tak, bardzo ładnie tutaj jest w środku. Znajduje się tutaj kilka obrazów, są też ładne witraże. Może zanim porozmawiamy z kapłanem, rozejrzyjmy się tutaj po wnętrzu. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. The left one is showing an evil, dark, creepy looking figure underground amongst flames. The right window is a big red dragon flying above people celebrating. Hmm. It looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle, and everyone around them is just watching them, like they are in awe. It's a bunch of people looking a bit crazy. They're all fighting each other. Te obrazy czy witraże zapewne opowiadają jakieś historie. Such a serious looking man, just sitting there, writing with his quill, being serious. No i jeszcze jeden obraz. Hmm, I don't like this one. The girl looks so scared. She's reaching to this lady. The lady is just looking away and ignoring her. No dobrze, obejrzeliśmy obrazy, witraże. Myślę, że teraz będziemy mieli o czym rozmawiać z kapłanem. Hi there. Uh, your grace, sir? Your holiness? Oh, dear child. No, no, please. Theodore will suffice. I'm sorry. It's my first time in a church. But it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you too, young one. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. <laughs> Indeed it is. But, alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it, so to speak. And caring for all the people who come seeking the Red Dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the Glass Mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. I simply stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important. With or without her. Wygląda na to, że ten kościół czci smoczyce. No i w związku z tym zdziwiłem się widząc tutaj krzyż, no bo krzyż jednak jest symbolem, wiadomo, ukrzyżowania Chrystusa. I jaki związek ma krzyż ze, ze smoczycą? Ciekawe, czy się tego dowiemy. You say the dragon stood for something important? Oh, very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see, her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared. But then Grandpa laughed because it was just a tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The L Lord of Dark? Oh yes, Mephistopheles. He's known for his many names and many guises. But be not afraid, for thanks to the Red Dragon, we are all safe. Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see. His trickery contained. No proszę, więc tutaj też jest zła postać. Jest szatan, diabeł, Mephistopheles. Więc są wspólne elementy różnych religii i właśnie kultu czerwonej smoczycy. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years I've looked for a means to open it, but for years it has remained closed. 
This place was built entirely for the love of the Red Dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here, somewhere, before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course, be my guest, young one. Tak skoro tutaj kryją się jakieś podpowiedzi do otwarcia tych drzwi, brzmi jak wyzwanie z typu Escape the Room, to Anna z pewnością te wskazówki znajdzie. Big windows at the back are so so pretty. I love them. Oh yes, they really are remarkable, aren't they? I'm constantly in awe of their beauty. They commemorate the Red Dragon's work in chasing away the Lord of Dark. Oh wow! I would never have imagined something like that really happening. Do all these paintings around the room tell a story to them? Indeed they do. They tell their own story about Wunderhorn's days of magic. Ooh, could you tell it to me? By all means, I'd be glad to. Where would you like me to start? Can you tell me about the busy looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great powers were at odds. None could maintain order. What about this serene painting? It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Czyli można wysnuć takie spostrzeżenie, że te obrazy przedstawiają historię Wunderhorn. Who is the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt, a direct descendant of the great witches and a crucial part of Wunderhorn's history. It was Philip who created the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to banish the dark. It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power, it cost him his own life. As he summoned the red dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh wow, what a brave selfless man. A shrine deep in Wunderhorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. I know where I've seen him before. I have a picture of him. Here, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Uh, it's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be... It's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed it is her. As a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. Czyli Wunderhorn przeżywa jakiś kryzys, bo widać wszyscy są smutni i być może dlatego panuje tu, przynajmniej ja tak to odbieram, taka jednak dość ponura atmosfera, że królowa Jannike zniknęła rok temu. No i coś się tu dzieje, coś niedobrego. Jakaś złowroga aura unosi się nad tym miejscem. Can you tell me about the sad looking painting on the right? Yes, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Wunderhorn, and the girl, her very own daughter. Little is known of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. Ale chyba nie mamy już o czym rozmawiać. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. Czyli tak, można powiedzieć, że na początku Wunderhorn było pogrążone w chaosie 
i nieładzie. Później nadszedł czas magii i wiedźmy objęły rządy, stały się ważnymi postaciami. Później potomek tych wiedźm właśnie pan Wokt, który chyba założył szkołę czarownictwa. No i na końcu ostatni obraz przedstawia wypędzenie swojej chyba córki przez wiedźmy. No i teraz też wiemy, że rok temu zniknęła królowa Jannikę. No i nie wiem, czy ma to jakiś związek z z tym, że klątwa została rzucona na dziadka Anny, czy te wszystkie wydarzenia się z sobą łączą. Ciekawe. Pewnie w końcu się tego dowiemy. Tutaj mamy też organy. Możemy na nich zagrać. No ale na razie nie wiemy po co, nie wiemy jaki to ma związek z naszą misją. Teraz wejdziemy do alejki za kościół, a przed sklep czarodzieja. Swoją drogą Fajne sąsiedztwo, ukryty sklep czarodziejki, czy czarodzieja i kościół. No dobrze, tutaj możemy zerknąć na witraże od drugiej strony. Czyli ten sam komentarz. It's quite an old and intricate looking thing. Seems like it's as old as the church. Ah, look at that! A cute little dragon on top. Just like in the church window. Może jest to jakaś podpowiedź, by oświetlić światłem, wyrzucić światło na ten witraż. Może wtedy jakieś wskazówki się ujawnią. Oh yeah. If I bent the lamp down, I could light the lanterns. But I don't see a reason to do that at the moment. Anna nie widzi powodu, by to robić. Jak na razie. No dobra, więc jeszcze pójdźmy do kościoła i przyjrzyjmy się dokładniej tym witrażom. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. I really do love these. They're just so... The left one is showing an evil, dark, creepy looking figure underground amongst flames. The right window is a big red dragon flying above people celebrating. Hold on. I wonder if there's any clues like Theodore said. Let's see. Hmm. No. Nothing about a bell tower, I don't think. Nothing really looks out of the ordinary. Oh, wait. Except this. There's a small cluster of strange little symbols here on the right window. Huh. How about that? Not sure what it means, but it definitely is peculiar. Otóż to, czyli znajdują się tu jakieś symbole, które będzie można pewnie oświetlić i wówczas pojmiemy ich znaczenie lepiej. Więc mamy też odpowiedź na to, czy gra bywa mocno liniowa. Czasami tak. Tutaj na przykład nie mogliśmy tej lampy opuścić, tej latarni. Zanim nie dowiedzieliśmy się, że... Zanim odkryliśmy, że właśnie znajdują się tutaj symbole na witrażu. Oh yeah! If I bent the lamp down, I could light the lanterns. Then maybe I can light those pretty patterns on the window. Let's see. Aha! Now I can reach them. No dobrze, ale musimy najpierw właśnie oświetlić ten witraż. Więc w jakiś sposób trzeba będzie zapalić latarnię. Oh, he could certainly light the lamp for me. Only it's been so long since he's eaten anything but berries. I think he's all out of fire. <laughs> Czyli jagody nie są ch chyba dobrym pożywieniem, odpowiednim pożywieniem dla smoka. Trzeba by go będzie jakoś, nie wiem, naładować energią, sprawić, by jednak zionął ogniem. Tawerna wydaje się odpowiednim miejscem na to. Jest teraz pogrążona w mroku. Tutaj wszyscy prawie śpią. No i niech się <śmiech> naje teraz smok. Oh yes, these look perfect for you, little guy. <śmiech> Must be nice to have some dragon-friendly food after all those berries. Dokładnie, zawsze urozmaicona dieta jest najlepsza. 
Więc jagody, nawet jeśli zdrowe, to nie mogą być wyłącznym składnikiem diety. Także ta gra tutaj nas uczy w kwestiach doboru pożywienia odpowiedniej diety. No, sprawdźmy, czy to zadziała, czy rzeczywiście Anna miała rację. Jak najbardziej. No i teraz wracamy do kościoła i sprawdzimy, czy przyniosło to spodziewane efekty. Czy coś uda nam się odkryć? Tak. W tej chwili pojawiły się symbole na organach. Czyli te symbole padają z witrażu na, na właśnie organy. Pewnie teraz tak się może wydawać i chyba to, to będzie rzeczywiście słuszne spostrzeżenie, że trzeba tutaj zagrać jakąś melodię związaną z tymi symbolami, ale jaką? Nie mieliśmy do tego żadnej podpowiedzi jak dotąd, więc trzeba będzie tej podpowiedzi, tej wskazówki poszukać i w tym celu udamy się do lasu. I zerkniemy na pień. Wait. You don't think this couldn't be the grove Theodore talked about, could it? If it is, if this is where Philip summoned the dragon, then there must be a clue. What have we here? How neat! It's like the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine, it must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. Teraz już mniej mistyczny i mniej tajemniczy, odkąd zobaczyliśmy te symbole na organach właśnie. I spójrzmy, mamy tutaj trzy, trzy sekcje. Jedna górna odpowiada górnemu rzędowi klawiszy na organach, ta środkowemu i ta dolnemu. Więc mamy aż siedem symboli ze środkowego rzędu i jeden z górnego. Przerysujmy to sobie. Albo zapamiętajmy, jeśli ktoś ma dobrą pamięć, to czemu ma nie zapamiętać. I wróćmy do kościoła i spróbujmy odegrać teraz odpowiednią melodię. Anna jest muzykalna, co udowodniła też grając na skrzypcach białym damom. Może ma wszechstronne umiejętności muzyczne. Zaraz to sprawdzimy. No dobrze, i teraz patrzę na, na to, co sobie zapisałem na kartce. Ten symbol ze środkowego rzędu. I teraz ten symbol. To. Jeszcze raz to. To, to. O, teraz coś z górnego rzędu. Ten symbol, który jest po lewej stronie. I na koniec to. Hey, that actually sounded pretty good. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh yes, I think I did something. Aha. Stars above, I don't believe it. You, you, you did it. You opened the door, young one. After all these years, you did it. Look at that, stairs. This must be the bell tower, right? It can only be. The stairs to the red dragon's bell itself. Oh, how exciting. You don't want to look? Come on. I know you must be dying to see her. Oh no, no, I can't. I'm a little nervous, I think. This is a moment I must savor and cherish. Go, young one. I'll be here waiting for you. Jesteśmy na tej słynnej dzwonnicy. be able to pick it up, but I'm certainly taking it all in. What a view. 
No rzeczywiście, piękny widok. Myślę, że trzeba będzie przyzwać tę smoczycę w jakiś sposób, odgrywając czy uderzając w dzwon. something flying towards me actually uh oh i think it's charging at me ah uh nice d dragon i just just need to g go to glasma mountain you see and oh dear podobna smoczyca do tej z gry the book of unwritten tales teraz Hmm, po co ona tu właściwie przyleciała? Wezwaliśmy ją. Trudno powiedzieć, czy jest przyjazna. Może pokażmy jej kolegę. Albo syna, nie wiem, czy to jej dziecko. W każdym razie miniaturowego czerwonego smoka. O, oczywiście. Ten little guy. Jest he, is he yours? Zielonego, chyba powiedziałem czerwonego. All this time, she just wanted her baby back. Jeez, no wonder you are so upset. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Um, I hope this isn't too much to ask now, but do you think... Could you fly me to the top of Glass Mountain, maybe? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important, honest. It's... it's for my family, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. was incredible. I really can't thank you enough, Red Dragon. I just have to quickly look for something and then we can get going, okay? Zapukajmy do drzwi. Może tam ktoś, ktoś tam chyba powinien mieszkać i ofiarować nam tę różę. Ah, not all right, Greg. Ah, crazy. And what was I doing here again? Hmm. Uh, hello, sir. I... I was wondering... Uh, no, you can't have it! Whoa, but... huh? Ah, you again? Mm, I said no! Go home! But, sir, you don't even know what it is I came for. Well? Oh, I... I need a rose. A special rose from the top of this mountain. A rose? What? I thought you were here for... Uh, hmm. No! You can't have it! Now go away forever! But... Do you know where the rose is, sir? Of course! I have it right... Wait... Ah, no! No idea! No roses here! Now go away! <laughs> How rude. Nie miło, ale mimo wszystko wzbudza moją sympatię. Mm, taka swoją drogą... Myślał, że przychodzimy tu w innym celu, ale róży też dać nie chce. Ale jak nie prośbą, to sposobem. Jak nie prośbą, to telekinezą. Trzeba było hodować taką długą brodę. Excuse me, sir. I just just need a moment and. Mister, calm down, please. Okay, that's better. All right. Now, sir. I don't mean to cause you any trouble. My grandpa, he... he's really sick. I don't care. Why should I help you? 
You're just a pesky little trespassing ne'er-do-well. You know, I... I think you know what it's like being up here all alone. See, if I didn't have my grandpa, I'd be completely lost. I wouldn't know what to do. No! Stop trying to appeal to my emotions! I don't have any! And if I don't find the rose soon, I... I'll be all alone too, sir. Mm, if I give you the rose, will you just leave me already? If you really want me to, then yes. Forever and ever. Fine, fine, fine. Open this window already. Rank Rank, you have no idea how much this means to me, really. Mm, I don't care. Go, scram. It was something... something about me being brave. No, wait, that's all my stories. Wait, yes, that's it. By Jove, I remember now. The story about the thieves. Now, okay. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, that's right. This story gets better every time you tell it, I think. And just then, as I raise the sword, light glinting bright off my steel... Sir, more boards just in! Wait, no, wait, not at this bit again! You always ruin it for me. It's the girl again, sir! She's been spoiled just now! She was seen making her way to the alley behind the church, sir! By the stars! She must have walked right past the tavern! The nerve. Ah, uh, also, sir, it is said she arrived in the town with a different ally, sir. Uh, I... I should probably, uh, bid you farewell now. A strange mustachio gentleman was the witness's description, sir. The devil? An ally, you say? Oh, dear. And even though he didn't like having his beard trapped, he was forced to sit still for just a second to hear me out. I didn't take you for the violent type. But, no, that's... Oh, you don't think that's violent, do you? Hush, hush, I'm teasing for goodness sake. That's it. We have all the items, finally. All right, and we can make the cure now, right? Indeed, yes. Ha ha ha. A cure indeed. Let's begin. For what was forged, suppress the malign. For what I reflect, return what is mine. Fool. I... I'm sorry? Fool. Now, to finish what I started, child. No, no, it can't be. M madame Oh, your highness! Huh. Since you incompetent monkeys are incapable of doing your own job, I've followed the wanted criminal and apprehended her myself. Now, seize her at once. Yes, your, your highness, highness. At, once. at once. Highness? Throw her into the dungeons. Despite all of Anna's brave efforts, the witch's trickery prevailed. All was for Winfrieda's gain, and now somehow under the witch's command, the guards tore the newly forged friendship apart. Plead as she might, the girl was taken away and locked in the depths of the darkest of dungeons. In this most dire of hour, Anna could not help but lament, for her hopes for a cure had been all but dashed. Where were you? Grandpa, we've been through this before. You know how I feel about you being out at night. But I'm fine. You don't have to worry so much. I do. I really do. Oh, if only you knew what lurks outside the farm, what evils there are in the world, what they've done to... <laughs> Grandpa? 
I'm all right. I'm all right. Are, are you okay? What happened? Please, just... <clears throat> if you could, I could find some medicine from the cabinet. It's locked. The key. It's uh, the fireplace. <coughs> Czyli dziadek już wcześniej chyba zaczął chorować. Key, key. Where is it? Oh, I don't see it. Ah, here. You have to find help, but whatever happens, you must always be careful. Well, what do you mean? Always be wary, Anna, of everyone, of everything. The world is tough, but you, you must be even tougher. Grandpa. Don't ever forget what I've told you. Remember, however near, or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. Rozdział czwarty. Pakt z diabłem. Grandpa, what have I gotten myself into now? I thought I was helping, but... But all I've done is made things worse. I've only helped Winfrieda with whatever wicked plans she has, and now... Ben is gone and I... I don't know where they've taken him. Now I... I can't save you anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> I should have been more careful, like you said. I should have listened. I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa? Winfried? Anna? Anna, is that you? Huh? Y yes I'm Anna. How did you... Who's there? Oh, my. You poor, poor girl. Oh, then it really is happening. Winfried must have already tricked the king. Which can only mean... Hey, old man. Quit your yapping. Winfrieda? But how do you know all of this? Who are you? Anna, listen to me. You must be strong. I know things look dire, but there is still hope. I know all about you, my dear. You, your grandpa, Winfrieda. You see, I am... I said shut it! I'm warning you! But mister, I'm trapped in a prison. What can I possibly do now? What, what you've always done, my dear. Persevere. Find me. Whatever it takes. I have to tell you. You need to know that... Jeez, what part of shut it don't you get, huh? One more word out of you. Please. Hurry! Well, uh, okay. I'll do it. I'll come find you. Somehow. Pewnie nie będzie to jakieś bardzo trudne, skoro ten ktoś znajduje się za ścianą, ale tak. Jest jakaś iskra nadziei, która, jeśli Anna się postara, może przekształcić się w wielki płomień. I może ona doprowadzi nas jednak do odnalezienia tego leku dla dziadka do sprawienia, że jednak uratujemy tę najważniejszą dla Anny postać, jedyną ważną, bardzo ważną osobę w jej życiu tymczasem pod koniec, na samym końcu poprzedniego rozdziału dowiedzieliśmy się o tym, że ta czarodziejka to 
była Win Freedą, to ta sama osoba. Ale strażnicy powiedzieli do niej, wasza wysokość, o ile dobrze pamiętam. Co to oznacza? Rok temu królowa Jannikę zniknęła. Czyżby Winfrida próbowała zająć jej miejsce? I ten pan, którego głos tutaj słyszeliśmy, starszy człowiek zapewne, powiedział, że coś takiego, że pewnie już przechytrzyła króla, czy coś takiego, czy, czy coś w tym rodzaju. Co to oznacza? Pewnie dowiemy się wkrótce, tymczasem rozpoczęliśmy czwarty rozdział. No i ciekawie jak się on rozwinie. Na tę chwilę to już wszystko, do usłyszenia, papa. Pa.